Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Georgia Burns here and I'm here to show you how I made this card. Now this card is made by a retired set. As I've said in a previous card this week, I'm saying this every card making I'm doing because I don't know what order they'll be uploaded in, but I'm waiting for my Stampin' Up! delivery with my new stamps, which hasn't come. Been coming up for 20 days tomorrow since I've ordered it and I had an idea for one of the stamp sets I've got that this should have another animal in it but like I said it's not here so I thought oh I'll use the ladybugs I know it's a retired stamp but I haven't used it much so I've used that ladybird and I've used the word thank you This paper is out of um, one of the free papers you get at Celebration. So I thought I'd use that as well. So I've got some of that is still available. And I'm sorry I've had to use him, but I haven't got my order. So, and I need cards this week. This is what I've come up with. To make this card, I have got an old olive card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and it's now burnished I have a white card base I've got two of these I will have at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for your inside and one for the outside I have a bit of the what's that Oh, let me see if I can find my celebration catalogue. Here it is. And this paper is called. Is that the one? No. Must be this one. Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. The first paper in the celebration. Remember if you spend £45 or more you get things out of here free and they also have some £90 um, stamp set. If you spend £90 you can get a, a bigger stamp set. I'm actually waiting for the donkey. This one. That's who should have gone in there. But I've put a ladybug in. So I'm using the back of the bloom paper and this is five and a half by three and three quarters and that will go on there. I've also got a circle um, this is roughly two and three eighths that will go there and I have got to cut out the sentiment and the white circle which will also go on there. So move that out of the way and we'll get on with our stamping. Now I have got in my circle dies this tag die is a six. It is a stamping up die but I can't remember what set it is out of and I'm sure when I used this before somebody actually told me what it was and I didn't put it back in the packet. But you can use any tag die, make your own. Right, we're going to stamp the butterfly first using Versifier, uh, no, Memento Black Ink and we'll just stamp that there, like that. Clean it up. Right, and I'm with my not that one. Oh, I'm getting myself all in a muddle today. My versifying. I am going to stamp the word. 
Thank you. I had to go upside down anyway. I'm going to cut that out with the die afterwards. I didn't even try. Oh yeah, plenty of room. So, well, first of all, we're going to need to colour this in. So, with my um, marker pens, I've got a dark red and the black. Now, the reason I've got the black is just to highlight these bubbles. I'm just going over just to make them stand out a bit more and also the black bits on the bug itself and this black bit of his body Right, and with the red, we will colour in his wings. Nothing special, just colour them in. One side. I can't believe how long it is taking my order to get here. Right, and the rest of them we're going to colour in in crumb cake light. Oh, I don't know what colour a ladybug's body is. Oh yeah, that's all we've got to do for that. And we want old olive, and I bet I haven't bought the stamps that I haven't. Hang on, let me go and get it. Right, I've got painted poppies here. And the reason I used this when I made the other card, this was on the table. And all I did was got the small splatter dot and just done some green round, you know, like it was in a bush or hedges or somewhere. And that is what I did. Give him some colour around his feet. Right. We're going to cut this out. Now this die just fits on here. So I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom here.
right, place that there. And we have our little ladybug. I need this one next. And please that didn't stick very well, did it? I think I need to get myself some more tape. And then we have our little sentiment. Get rid of them and get rid of the rubbish. Right, now we can put this card together. So I want some glue and I've mixed these two bottles up. Right, I'll stick this on this white, leaving a nice little border all the way around. And then we'll stick this on the card piece. Again, leaving a nice little border all the way round. Right now, this the plain green one we stuck flat just on this half of the card, and this one we put on dimensionals. Same with the sentiment. Oh. Right. Put the backings off the sentiment. And we place that just there. And then with this one, we place this one down here and on it. Now all we've got to do is add some gems. Now I went a little bit overboard on this one. I don't know if you can see it. I put one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't need seven gems. So I am going to just put three. And I'm going to put them all on this gold uh, plane circle. Just like that, that's better. So, just put the inside in. Nothing going on in the inside. As it's a thank you card, you need space to write your thank you message. Uh, 
actually gave a card to my daughter yesterday she um, did our shopping for us with me shielding I'm not allowed out so um, she said do click and collect and I'll collect it and bring it to you so that's what she did so I give her a little thank you card right so there's my cards don't forget if you want to make one like this use anything in the inside I've just used that because the stamp set I wanted hasn't arrived but you can use anything you want if you copy it that says and you have my permission to do that you know anyway there you are I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon